of the field where you have Joseph and Dame up of Clemson and we're underway now at Historic Riggs Field on Senior Night. Happy to have you with us along with Michael LaHood. I'm Joe Malpa. Clemson in their orange from... Parrish, one of those honored tonight on Senior Night. Curves the ball in and they have two more chances to get it perfect. A well-oiled machine going in the tournament time. And a chance now in the attacking third up to Silla. Cuts it in front. Now it's back for Duquesne. Curls the ball in. The header is just over the bar. Early opportunity to go ahead for Parrish, making that run out of the midfield. This is why, this is why Duquesne's out there on the field. Provides such good service from the left, but keep an eye on the movement of number 11, Brandon Parrish. That's poor marking from Boston College and Parrish. For one at Riggs Field. From the corner, Richmond drives it in. The header is wide again. That's two headers in advantageous positions that are off target. Clemson's been the better side so far in this six. Jaber to Richmond. Richmond gets by Hughes. Still Richmond to the end line, centers it, and it's out for a goal kick. Alex Meinhard. Upset with himself. It's good work from uh, Nathan Richmond. Switches flanks. And a crafty cuss. Reinhard looks over the shoulder here, finds Silla. Richmond running off the shoulder. Silla sends it that way. It's Richmond settling, shooting, and it's wide of the post. And the Tigers are knocking and knocking, getting closer. This is no solar expert, but that sliver of sun is getting thinner and thinner. So it seems like it won't be too much of an issue much longer for Endema. And now the other way, it falls nicely for Meinhard. Taken to the end line, and it's punched away. Loose in front, put home on the rebound. Clemson takes the lead. It's Alex Meinhard on senior night celebrating again. All the pressure that Clemson's been putting on finally pays off in the form of a goal and a scrappy goal, a hungry goal for the Tigers. And it's the left side looking like the strong side so far in this first half. Arthur Duquesne comes running out like a runaway train. Keep an eye on number 33. He knows he wants that pass there, but the deter determination to keep going and get this shot off. Hesitation right there, hits it near post. The rebound falls. Meinhardt, sometimes you have to put yourself in the right place to benefit from a bit of luck there. Klein goes, punches it right in his path, but this is still good predatory finishing from Meinhardt. Two looking to add on to their resume. They control destiny, flipped over the top again. It's Meinhardt, his first touch takes him away from goal. He recovers, loose for Richmond, still loose. Klein takes him down and a point to the spot. It was a mess in front. Clyde made it even messier. And now Clemson can go up two from 12 yards out. And a bit of a domino. Silla, who's standing over it. On senior night, he's been so good for them year after year, these last few years. Now Silla to make it 2-0, and he does just that. His fifth of the year, Clemson strikes twice in a couple of minutes, and they're off and running now. It's almost becoming automatic for Silla from the spot. Boston College can feel a little bit hard done by by the decision, but it's all about how you take advantage of a penalty kick opportunity. And Usman Silla, when he steps up, it's business as usual for him. Looking at this again, Klein goes for it, and Kundalak there. It's a soft touch, soft penalty, but referee chooses to give it. Silla opens up his body and slots it home. And so difficult when he puts it low, puts it towards the corner. There's not much you can do about it as a goalkeeper. That's center step there. Klein's already moving to his right. And the play, other one came against NC State. It's through for Richmond, lays it off. Silla. Out wide, Meinhard, another corner coming. 
I like the chances coming because Clemson's press has been relentless. They're doing a good job of to curl in the corner. They went short the last time they were out on that side of the field. He goes direct this time toward the far post. The header is over the bar. For the second time tonight, Clemson narrowly missing on a header over the bar. This time it's Pop Bar Boy. That's typical in the game where he's a player that wants the ball to feed as much as possible. So to Silla, here he is. Silla, oh, that's brilliant. Usman Silla putting on a show in his final regular season home game at Riggs. 3 0 Clemson. This is one of the more special goals you'll see all season in this conference and in this country. And it comes from the most gifted player on the field right now, and Usman Silla. He's putting on a clinic. And he's really the main man for Clemson in all facets of the game. Are you kidding me with this? When he gets the ball in this half space here, you're thinking there's two or three defenders around him, but he chops the defenders and just swallows through, has the audacity to just send one defender the wrong way, dink it around the other, but then this right here, the finishing. You see a lot of attackers get to that big moment, a rush of blood to the head, but not him. Calm, cool as you like. Slot initially from Gebe. The second effort was better, but it was blocked. Meinhard has a goal to his name tonight. Puts this one in front. Oh, what a flick out from Richmond! Just when you thought Silla had the goal of the night, Richmond goes and does that. The Clemson Tigers are really putting on a show in this first half. And they've been led by Usman Silla and Nathan Richmond. Nathan Richmond, my word. Are you kidding me? Look at the run here. He's patient, he's patient. He's waiting for this ball to go in. And when he gets there, wow, you cannot teach that. That stuff you practice in training. That stuff you practice with your friends. But to do this in the match, to do this on senior night, to have the guts to do that. Hey, put in a highlight. So the four goals for Clemson have all come in a 14 minute span. Looking for more. Richmond to Smart. And from the corner. Lays it off to Parrish. Back out to Richmond in some space. Richmond drives the ball in. Header is over the bar. But it comes off of a defensive player. And out for a corner on the opposite side now with under 10 to play in this first half. A nervy moment for Boston College. Keep an eye on the velocity and the trajectory of this ball from the first angle to be saw. Parrish will take this one. Brandon Parrish toward the back post. It was there for an open header and a wide open net. Awkward angle as you saw Jaber trying to angle his body and knock it under the bar. But another good chance off a set piece for the Tigers. That's quality service. Keep an eye on how much whip Brandon Parrish gets on this. And oof, cheap hair. <laughs> Meinhard cuts it back, has some options here. Goes top of the box for Parrish. Still Parrish to the back post, and it's grabbed by Klein. Arms go up from both. It is still up short, something off the training ground. Now Richmond puts it in front. Ball still loop. From that pack in the box to snuff it out. Parrish blazes it over the bar. That should brims in. 4 0. They will lead going into the break, Michael. I don't know that we've seen a more complete half from a team in any of. Underway now in half number two with Michael LaHood. I'm Joe Malf. Happy to have you along as Clemson is up 4 0. They're dangerous on their corners in the first half. In swinger this time from Richmond. Top of the six comes all the way through and out for a goal. Through the traffic, it's Clemson who comes away with it again. Duquesne. Meinhard for still up, sitting on a hat trick, lays it back off from Meinhard. Still loose in front. Meinhard has his brace. And the Tigers picking up where they left off just before the half. And you see the dejected look of Brennan Klein. Not much he can do about this one. 
left stranded on his line. Quick thinking, quick movement from this front three. Keep an eye on it. It's keeping plays alive. When Meinhardt gets this ball, he's looking for the run of Silla, but it's running off the ball that makes it so hard. That is just beautiful. One, two, reverse pass from Silla, but twinkle toes from Meinhardt, equally gifted there. Shifts it over to his favorite right foot and arrows that. He slinks that into the side netting. He's not going to miss that. And Klein looking helpless. And Clemson rolling. Here's Richmond. He has one of the goals. Floats it ahead. And Lamar Boy's head is over the bar. Second time he's done that tonight off the corner. Physical maturity, the difference in size of just the Clemson midfield versus theirs. An oof, good ball. Meinhardt's in. Meinhardt in alone, sitting on two goals. Save made by Klein. Rebound to Silla. He has it, and he has his hat trick. A historic player at historic Riggs Field has his hat trick on senior night. And the Tigers have shown just an appetite to continue to push forward. There goes the flag and there goes the hat trick from Usman Silla. What a player and what a moment for him. On a night where you got your two goals and there's many players around the country who would stop and say, hey, job well done, I'm good. Meinhardt, this is an excellent first touch. Klein though, he comes out, makes the angle small, but this is Usman Silla doing Usman Silla things. The composer, the hesitation, just the willingness to play the game on his terms. When the ball falls to Silla at the top of the box, it's all hands on deck from Boston College. They don't know where to go. It's Helter Skelter right there. He looked like he could even walk the ball in. It's Silla's world and BC and everyone else are just living in it. What a performance. And what a player. For a moment. Jaber. Duquesne. All the way back where it started to Gabe. But it's off frame. Robel slips it through. Robel lays it off for Okunlola. Taken end line by Okunlola. Puts it back in front. And pinballs around off of James Kelly. And it falls for a strike that's blocked in front. That's when you get a result like you have here tonight. And I remember mid midterm so well. Dreaded them. That's why I did the best I could. Just like Clemson. Nope. That's why I did the best. And I'm just getting an extra day to sit back and watch as everything else unfolds. As this attack unfolds here, put it front block on the shot by Okalola. I mean, the game like this, you just want to be steady. You don't need to be the hero. Try from distance, and that's a steady save from Brown. Are in this, you end up facing the Notre Dame. That's where the game's going to come down to. And the Irish, very good on set pieces. If you're Clemson, if you can go to. Well, that'll do it tonight from historic Riggs Field. Clemson 6, Boston College nil. What a way to celebrate senior night for the Tigers. Incredible showing. Goals coming quick and fast, but keeping the zero as well. The Tigers 